three. About up in the oh, just about up to temperature. They both work. Rolls are free. Down two notches at flaps. There's a little bit of wind today. Eh. I'll try it. 1001, 1002. Okay. Mayfield traffic experimental 312 Delta Julia departing on runway 27 Mayfield. Short trip. See what kind of RPM I'm getting. Oh man, about 6,500. That's pretty good. Like I say, they do kind of good when they're cold. I gotta get them flaps up. I'm almost not flying here. There we go. Oh, baby. And at the end of the runway, I'm, uh, about three hundred feet going over Paul's house. So, this is another attempt to see what the DVR camera sees. And uh, I've got a full tank of fuel. I mean, I got the, the little football tank full even, so uh, this thing's fairly heavy. I guess I could take a passenger, but I wouldn't want to take a guy that's too big, that's for sure. I usually figure a limit of about a couple hundred pounds. Got that kind of fuel, I would. I've done it with more, but this props two blade, and I don't think it climbs quite as well with this. I like the three blade a little better. I was going to do something like that. Okay, I am now about uh, let's see, 400 feet above the ground, cruising along, getting ready to land here. Uh, well, I should probably do a little bit of a here to see what kind of view I get. I think that lens that's in that DVR camera is like a telephoto lens. Because it made all those houses and stuff look awful close to me. So, today, what I'm going to do is, uh, I changed the, it, it's got something on the menu. You can change it from VGA to HD. And so I changed that. The VGA and that changed the shape of the picture. So now it's a little higher than it was. So I'll see what I get. But that's that's really my only purpose today. Uh, now I'm gonna come around and go to the to the runway here. I'm up too high, 400 feet. That's pattern altitude for me. That's too high. I gotta get her down here. Across Killian Road here. But I'm not I'm not gonna use any flaps coming down. It's winds are out of the northwest, they're not very strong, but because they're kind of a crosswind it tumbles over that uh, spot in the trees that I gotta go in. So because of that, I want to make sure I got full roll control and, you know, good steering when I I go down in there, that slot. So I don't I don't use the flap runs if it's too windy or thermally off. You see how I'm bouncing around? I'm going up and down and up and down. That's yeah, all over these trees, you know. So, but I got her made now, so I'm done with the engine. Take it now. I just point it down to the runway like this and now I could put on the flaps if I want to to try to slow down but 
it ain't hardly worth it. I'll just sail across the ground, wait till it's down a little bit. I'll come down, see that? And I put on my brakes a little bit. That was just a kind of a test run, but it engine's running good. By 6,500 RPM is excellent for a 582, I think, for takeoff power. I mean, they tell you, well, I'll go to 6,800 or something like that, but I think that's that's cranking pretty fast, and I'd rather have maximum torque than maximum horsepower. I'm not not really looking to. And also, I want to get better fuel economy when I once I get up to cruising altitude. So if I fix it so it turns 6,800 on the ground. Some people said them at that static. You know, wow, it's going to really over rev when I up there and start trying to cruise. So.